Caramel on a blog TV. Okay. What we're going to today is talk about weak passwords. Okay, weak passwords. And we're also going to talk about how to make a strong password. Two methods of doing it. One is by going to GRC website, secure passwords, or the other is to use what they call a password generator. So if we open our browser, and we type in password generator, and we go to free password generator online. Basically here, what you have in front of you is free passwords for everyone right here, right now. Before I show you how to use this password generator, I will explain to you, the listener, why you need to have a secure password. If you use Facebook, email account, shop online, or you want to keep your privacy information private. You need a secure password. The bad guys today use many tools available on the internet. One of them is known to be a password cracker. Weak, they also have what they call a hacker's dictionary, which is basically it gives them the option of searching through it for what they call weak passwords. So you want the password that would not be on what I would call the hacker's dictionary. Passwords as your name, date of birth, or your name with a number is a weak password. From time to time, some of my good friends on Facebook I passed a comment from one time to another. My account's been hacked. Is it possible that you have a weak password? Your computer can be compromised without your knowledge. Information can be stored on your hard drive, encrypted. You will not remove it while you do a low level format or a format on your computer. Also, information can be stored in your computer without your knowledge. Your identity can be stolen and sold to other people to make money. This is not a fairy tale. This is the reality of the internet of today. To make a secure password, you can either use two or three or more methods. One is an online password generator. The other is a, a password generator program you can download. And another option is to use DRC website secure passwords. He actually calls them perfect passwords. Okay. This particular program here in front of you. This box is tick, on tick by default. I would suggest you take it. Password length is 8. Personally speaking, I would set it to 15 or more. All you do is click Generate. And I have to open up a say, no script here. A no script is basically a plugin that basically it's a security feature for Firefox. It's an add-on. 
If you find that whenever you go to a site, you have to, you can either temporary alert or block it. Now that is for 8 characters. If I set this to the 15, that is the sort of password that you want for your computer. You probably send to yourself, how am I going to remember this password? Very simple. Left click on your mouse, highlight it, right click, copy. Paste it into Notepad or WordPad. Save it on your desktop or in your documents. Then go another burn it your passwords to a blank CD or DVD or use one of these program or sorry one of these devices called a flash drive if you're not sure what a flash drive is You will notice that this here is a flash drive. USB plugin works on a Mac, works on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and a Linux distro. Put it into your computer, go to where your password is saved, right click and send it to your flash drive. Because you do not want to store passwords on your computer. Another place you can go to is GRC website. I would type in security guy because I find it more quicker to get to it. When you go to the website, at the top here you have services. If you click on services, you will see perfect passwords. And here you will see perfect passwords. Now these are good strong passwords. All you do Highlight it, right click, send it to your documents or your WordPad, save it, rename the folder, Facebook, whatever you want to save that particular password for, and then send it to your flash drive or your CD-ROM. Okay, you're probably saying, I don't need to worry about this, I've got McAfee on my computer, I've got AVG, I've got Norton, I've got this and I've got that. Hackers don't worry about security programs because they have the experience of how to write to the firewall, how to put a pop-up on your screen. If you click no or click yes, you're still letting them in. So if you get a pop-up on your screen, drag it to the bottom of your taskbar, don't click on it whatsoever. In the past years ago, when I was using McAfee or Norton Internet Security products. Yes, they do protect you to a certain extent. Guys with programming knowledge and the right tools can write to a firewall or bypass it. So a secure password is another good way of making your computer more secure. So this is how you would make a secure password. Password generator. As you can see here, when I type in password generator, you have a password cracker. And this is some of the programs that hackers would use to gain access to a computer. 
One of the old tools is called John the Ripper Password Cracker. Okay. So this is to give you an idea of the sort of programs that the bad guys would use, one of many, to gain access to your computer. They can put pornographic on your computer. You try explaining that you didn't put it on, you'll find yourself in an awkward situation. They can store bank account details from other people on your computer without your knowledge. Yes, this is not a fairy tale, this is the real world of cybercrime. This is how they operate. Some of these tools are free. Script kiddies use them. And bad guys use them. Okay, so this is one way of trying to help you secure your computer. Also, please support me on t or follow me on Twitter, PC Kermon. If you have a problem with your computer, you have a virus, you have a hard drive problem, your computer won't start, you think your computer's been hacked, add me, PC Caramon to Skype. It is free. All I ask in return is you go to www.pccaramon.com, click on the banners, which I will show you now, and support me to support you. I'd be quite happy to talk to you on Facebook with your permission. Uh, PC Kermon. With your permission, I will use a program which is secure. Go remote with your computer. You will see everything I do, and I will do my best to secure your computer and check it for you. Now this is my website and at the top here I have a video which is basically leads to YouTube under Justin TV PC Kermon. Have a look at my videos. Some videos are on different programs you can use for your webcams, some on browsers and some on computer technology. Now this is my website, there's nothing fancy about it, but it's myself. Need help, call me. Here you have, get the best personal firewall, which is recommended by PC. If you click on that link, it will take you to Soul Alarm Pro, which is basically a code I have linked to them. So whenever you buy a product off there, I get a small amount of dollars. They have different programs here. Have a read. It will help you to protect your computer. And some guys don't like Sun Alarm, some guys do. You can use it for 30 days trial. It's a two-way firewall system. And in my opinion, it's a good tool to use to help you to prevent attacks to your computer. Computer security is not based on one product, it is based on a number of things. Closing your ports, having the right passwords, having a good backup, and also having the right plugins. There's a number of things that it's based on. If you click shopping, uh, you probably need job up this here. Uh, let's see now. Let's go to services. If you click on this one here, Warehouse Express Banner, it will take you to a secure link. And here you will be sent with Warehouse Express, where you can buy computer products here. This is a secure link where you can buy cleaning facilities, security cameras, tripods binoculars so please feel free to browse through it it is a genuine site basically I link to it I sign up with them and they pay a small amount to me for every product that is sold I've also got a live chat here 
And if you scroll down into like now, computer and software, you have monitors, printers, hardware drives. Let's have a look at the hardware drives. You will find different types of uh, hardware drives here. You have external. That's a two terabyte, which is two thousand gigabyte, for seventy nine pounds ninety nine. If you click on more information, you will get all the details and it will tell you what's in stock. As soon as you buy it, basically I get a small couple of dollars, which is very little, but it does help me to pay my bills or to keep my computers running, so I can help you to help others. And to save you money in the long run, because you know yourselves, if you go to a computer shop, you're going to have to pay for it and sometimes pay extra. Uh, because I have no script on, you probably not see some of these. Okay, so what I have done, great. Also, what do you think of your ISP? If you've got a broadband speed issue and your computer is going, you're slow when you're connecting to the internet. There's a number of reasons that can be. Feel free to Skype me, PC Kermon, on Skype, yeah. tell me what your problem is, and I'll be quite happy to find the best possible answer for you, and it'll save you money. And, what do I see? Here you have some of your thoughts and your feedback. Now I will be updating the website in the near future. Uh, I do have a number of third party programs on here which are based on security. And uh, that's the reason you're not getting the full view of the website. Okay, so this is PC Caramon myself, also known on Facebook as George. Uh, most of my friends will see me writing in about uh, my political views. But this is a hobby that I have, and I've been doing it for years and years. And I have helped quite a number of people that have had their computers compromised. If you go to KGRC Country 1 on Blog TV, there's quite a number of people who will tell you that. Even the guy that runs it called Gail, who's from the USA. And here you will see under security, you need a firewall on your computer, you need an antivirus program on your computer, you need to update your computer regular, you need to back up your data on your computer, and you need a secure browser. Now, every computer comes with Microsoft Explorer. Some people like them, some people don't. Personally speaking, I don't believe it is, it is as secure as I would like it. So I have an option. I do use Google Chrome and I do use Firefox browser. And I would use Opera browser on Safari. But that is a matter of choice. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. As I say, this is a small video on how to make a secure password. If you have any problems, you can help me to Skype PC Kermon, or you can go to my website www.pccaremon.com or if you Google PC Kermon, you'll see videos there, links that will take you to videos that I have done. If you go to YouTube, it's Justin TV PC Kermon. You'll see a number of videos there. Feel free to browse through them. If there's a particular thing that you want to know about to do with technology, Feel free to fill in the feedback form on my website and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Keep watching the videos that I'm posting and you will probably find that your question has been answered in one of the videos. Okay, PC Care More. Thank you.